Hello, YouTubians, and also, and of course, David McDonough. This is my entry for your five question epic Hallow's Eve giveaway. So let's get right into it. Question number one What is your favorite, sorry, what is your favorite low budget horror movie? I am actually going to include the trailer for my favorite low budget horror movie. It's a movie called Office of the Dead. And the reason it's my favorite low budget horror movie is because I worked on it and I got to play a zombie in it. So, please enjoy. Do you ever feel you're stuck in a dead end job? I need more time! Is your love life dying on its feet? I'm a virgin. Really? Yeah. Didn't you say you did? No. No, dude, there was that one girl that didn't score there either. Do you have a boss you wish were dead? <laughs> Is your work turning you into a zombie? In a time. Of deadly peril. Twenty minutes ago, the life course was locked down. Meaning no one can go in or out. A hero must rise. M&M's? That's not going to work this time. From his cubicle. <laughs> Office of the Dead. Was that Annie? I think so. I'd still do her. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you happen to notice the scene where the elevator doors is closing and the zombie turns around, that would be me. All right, question number two. What horror movie are you looking forward to coming out this year or in 2017? And that is the newest Resident, or I should say the last Resident Evil movie, the uh, final chapter. And the reason is because I have a group of friends, there's four of us total, who have seen every one of the Residential Evil movies in the theater together as a group, which you're probably all going, woo, big whoop. But in actuality, I live in the San Diego area of California. One of my friends lives in the San Francisco area of California. One of my friends lives in the, let's say, beach area of Los Angeles. And the fourth one lives on the opposite end of Long Beach, of Los Angeles County more towards the desert area so we're pretty well split up I haven't seen one of my friends since the last Resident Evil movie and um, the other two I, I saw more recently but we all talk online and stuff so we've already got it all set up we're gonna go check it out and get a nice meal afterwards and blah 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 blah, blah. here's the poster Question number three, what is my favorite horror collectible that I do not have? Now, I took this question to mean like the high-end horror collectible, the stuff that you, know, you dream about or you plan on purchasing when you win the lotto and stuff. The well, There was one movie prop that I would say that I've seen that people have remade it and they sell it, and but it's very expensive is the god killer gun from the movie drive angry now i know some of you are like drive angry that's not a horror movie i go but if you actually think about it a man escapes from hell to come back to earth to protect his granddaughter from a cult who wants to kill her at midnight on a certain special day i can't remember what it is off the top of my head so that they can then bring back 
a demon to take over the body of their leader who would then rule the earth. I think that kind of sounds like a horror movie. I could be wrong. But there was a gun in the movie called the God Killer Gun. It came in this little case. And um, Nicolas Cage, when he escaped from hell, he stole it. Here is a picture of it. That's a pretty cool looking thing, huh? Okay, question number four. Uh, sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head. Question number four. What is your favorite Stephen King movie? Um, my favorite Stephen King movie is probably going to have to be Maximum Overdrive. Just because I think it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in a movie. You know, watching the soda machine kill a guy, watching a chainsaw kill a dude, watching a electric knife attack a waitress. I think I'm after going maximum overdrive. Here's the poster. Nice poster. And the fifth and final question. What actor that is played and a famous iconic character would you like to meet well the since I've already had the honor of meeting Mr. Sid Haig who plays Captain Spaulding who I think is an iconic character um, my next horror person that I'd like to meet has got to be the one and only Mr. Ken Forey who was in Dawn of the Dead and Devil's Rejects two of my all-time favorite movies so Donna, I mean, so uh, Ken Forey would be the one I would like to meet, and you can't say he can't be iconic because for, what, six years in England they had a Forey Fest, which was a movie festival just about Ken Forey movies, which I think is kind of cool. After Ken Forey, I think it would probably be either Bill Mosley or Mr. Danny Trejo. Those would be probably my next two that I'd like to meet after Ken Corey. Alright. Is that it? I believe that's it for all the questions. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So, uh, thanks again, David. I think this is a kind of cool contest. I can't reach to uh, watch some of the videos that people do. Um, you guys have a great day. Bye.